But all this drama somehow took a backseat this week to the one unfolding within the White House, where both Sean Spicer and Reince Priebus have resigned following the appointment as communications director of Anthony Scaramucci, a former hedge funder and Long Islander of the frickin' month, for 643 <laughs> months in a row. Scaramucci's nickname is The Mooch, which already sounds like the name of a cow STD. <laughs> so, uh, neither one of us has been with anyone else, and yet somehow I have The Mooch. <laughs> is there anything you need to tell me? Anyway, Tony Mooch wasted no time cracking down on leakers, going on CNN to explain his philosophy with an unexpected reference. Why don't you honor the job? You remember Joe Paterno? What would he say? Okay. To act like you, you've been there before. Right. Act but... with honor and dignity. Whoa, 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 whoa. It is a little loaded quoting Joe Paterno, particularly in the context of everyone needs to keep their mouths shut. <laughs> and the crazy thing is, that whole act like you've been there quote has been attributed to multiple coaches, including Vince Lombardi. And yet, the mooch still picks the guy with a child sex abuse scandal and dismissal section on his <laughs> Wikipedia page, which is just weird. If you were pregnant and someone asked you if you knew the sex of the baby, your response would not be, like Casey Anthony once said, it's a girl! <laughs> and, and that Paterno line would have been the craziest thing Scaramucci had said this week until this. White House Communications Director Anthony Scaramucci unloaded on Chief of Staff Reince Priebus, calling him an expletive, paranoid schizophrenic, a paranoiac. And this was the most disgusting thing he said. I'm not Steve Bannon. I'm not going to blank my own blank. <laughs> Suck my own cock. <laughs> Scaramucci said... I'm not Steve Bannon. I'm not trying to suck my own cock. That's what he said to a reporter on the record. There was just no point in anyone being coy about this anymore. <laughs> in fact, Scaramucci's remarks were so extreme, they put news networks in a tricky position. But leave it to Gail King on CBS This Morning to cut right to the chase. How is that even physically possible, number one? <laughs> and number two, when you hear something like that, Bob, are you offended? Are you offended? Are you disappointed? Are you saddened by it? She's talking to Bob Schieffer. <laughs> and nothing in his half-century of Edward R. Murrow award-winning journalism could have possibly prepared him for the question, does the idea of Steve Bannon sucking his own cock make you angry or sad? <laughs> And that is where we are, six months into the Trump administration, with a president who has no major legislative accomplishments, no conception of even the, the very basics of how his job works, and a communications director who answers the question, what if a tanning bed was a person? <laughs> and yet, frustratingly, there is no public indication from Trump that he thinks he's doing anything wrong. In fact, on Friday, this was his takeaway from the failed Obamacare repeal. They should have approved health care last night, but you can't have everything. You know, I said from the beginning, let Obamacare implode and then do it. I turned out to be right. I turned out to be right. You've got to hand it to him. No one is better than Trump at claiming victories from overwhelming defeats. <laughs> I could honestly see him at the end of his term saying, I always said I didn't have the ability, experience or intelligence to be a successful president. I turned out to be right. <laughs> and now, this. And now, more newscasters desperately trying not to say the words, suck my own cock. I'm not Steve Bannon. I'm not trying to expletive, my own expletive. I'm not trying to suck my own bleep. I'm not trying to suck my own blank. Okay. I'm not trying... Uh, this is really graphic. I'm not gonna keep just saying blanking, blanking. He's saying Bannon should perform mm. physically impossible acts on himself. There was also suggestions of physical acts which are impossible and require flexibility that none of us has. What he said about Steve Bannon, which is, if true, would make Bannon a gymnast. Talking about self-fellatio, it's, it's not like nothing I've ever seen. Yeah, but... Yeah, Bob. <laughs> you're, Bob, you're Bob. smiling the way she expressed it, aren't you? <laughs> 